What is going on guys and girls, it is Ghost Robo and welcome to the brand new Madden 25, otherwise known as Madden 2014. What happens when they actually get to the year 2025, nobody knows, but what I do know is that the first mode I always check out in Madden every year is the Ultimate Team, because I think it's the most fun. If you guys agree, hit that like button, add your favorites, we're just going to check it out together. So without further ado, let's go. Hi everybody, Trey Wingo here, and welcome to Madden Ultimate Team, where you get to create your own team and decide who will be the stars of it by collecting players and other team assets. Will your Ultimate Team specialize in the passing game? If so, will you focus on short yardage plays or the long bomb? You can also choose to have your Ultimate Team be all about defense, where you'll be able to utilize the most powerful defensive players in the NFL today. Will be in your starting lineup, and how will they align with your team's core philosophies? The choice is yours in Madden Ultimate Team. Begin by selecting a captain for your Ultimate Team, who will define what type of core chemistry your team will possess. Don't worry, though, you'll be able to change your chemistry anytime later on while viewing your lineup. Choose your captain now. Interesting, we have captain choice here, and they've leveled everyone out at 80. And even if those are not their normal, uh, the regular ratings, um, <sighs> there's my favorite player in the NFL, Calvin Johnson Jr. Megatron, always the big Lions fan, have been my entire life, will be, till it's over. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards going with the quarterback. This chemistry system is interesting. I and mean, it's kind of interesting the way they've labeled guys. You know, you have speed run for Chris Johnson, uh, ground and pound for guys like Marshawn Lynch. Drew Brees is, of course, a long pass. RG3 is also a long pass, but he's got that mobility in there, which I really like. Brady short, and then I think Luck was the earlier quarterback here, right? Yeah, and we've got him as a short pass. Some of the other chemistry options, you got man defense, zone defense, uh, and then it looks like that's about it. You know, speed and ground pound, zone man. Oh, pass rush as well. I'm going to start with the quarterback. And let's go crazy and just draft RG3. He's not really so fully healed in real life, but I think he's pretty fully healed here. So we will grab on to RG3 as our captain. Sounds good. You've chosen a player who specializes in the long passing core chemistry. Be on the lookout for other players with this same type of chemistry in the future in order to improve your team's chemistry rating. Next, you'll open your free starter pack, which contains the rest of your team. Your team name can be changed any time from the settings menu. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so we've got a free pack here that starts off. Our training camp RG3 is not as good as regular RG3, um, but he's a good start for us, and it looks like we picked up some okay guys as well. We have training camp version of Frank Gore, who is not as you know potent as his normal counterpart, but he's okay. Uh, okay, fullback, Armani Edwards. Chris Durham of my Lions. Don't like that guy. Gronkowski. Patriots, uh, but again, it's a training camp version, so he's not as superstar strong. Scrolling through, scrolling through. Did we pick up anyone crazy? I'm guessing not. These starter packs kind of start you off small and simple. Another Detroit Lion, though. Devin Taylor, not one of the ones I would be happy to have. Matt Ryan over here. Another Lion. Goodness gracious sakes alive. They must know me well. Um, I'm going to obviously go with RG3 over him. Uh, we can probably dump him for some points, though. The Bills Stadium, the Redskins uniform. Um, ooh, I picked up a training camp CJ. That's pretty exciting. Hakeem Nix. Mike Shannon is our head coach, of course. I like, I like, I like. We also have Greg McElroy, who was my quarterback in one of the previous years. Don't like that guy. Um, all right, so it looks like we're in pretty good shape to get this thing rolling. This is the ultimate team home screen, where you'll be able to play games and interact with the rest of the ultimate team community. Your first game in Ultimate Team is a solo challenge against the Super Bowl champion Ravens. You can find this solo challenge and others by selecting the solo challenge title. Go ahead and select it now. Can I do anything? They won't let me do anything else. All right, I guess we're jumping right in, guys and girls. This is the solo challenge lock. Your captain has inspired your team. All right, we're just playing. I don't, I don't need no more of your tips. Hand-holding has gone on long enough. My, uh... My Redskins aren't as strong as they should be, but the Ghost Row Army, hey, we're going to power through. These Ravens are tough and tough, but, but we'll do our best. We'll check out our squad, see we got. I'm sure they've assigned everyone uh, the best available players at every available position, so we should have, um, what's his name, uh, Nixon and CJ at wide receiver, Frank Gore at running back, 
etc etc can i change the, the time here is it going to just do that for me all right trey i got it i got it i got it okay actually can we bust out of this introduction i can beautiful all right so this is what i wanted to see all right so we have gold pack of course the ultimate team pack with guys like barry sanders who's on the cover bundles let's check out the pricing of some of this stuff um just want to see where it's at so this pro pack one gold elite or legendary player it's 120 microsoft points um you also have the rookie pack which just gets 10 gold players and the beginner pack at least one silver, that's kind of a, a boo hiss type one. Um, let's buy a pro pack just for the heck of it. You ready for this? All right, beautiful. The purchasing has been handled. Actually, it was my first ever purchase with um, real money because now Microsoft points are permanently gone. It's all real currency. I don't know if you guys knew that, but it happened today. All right, so contract extension. Tennessee offensive playbook, Philip Adams cornerback. This is always my favorite part of Madden Ultimate Team, and really what drew me into Ultimate Team in the first place is like the excitement of opening packs of cards makes me feel like I'm freaking 12 years old playing Pokemon. Anyways, ooh, Bengals uniforms, I like those. Matthew Daniels, strong safety. Vince Willifork, he's a top 100 rookie star. We've got Sam Martin, the Lions new punter, who's actually like freaking beast, bombing some kicks earlier in the preseason. University of Phoenix Stadium, that's a massive stadium. We've got, uh, why is there no, oh, it's New Orleans coach, because they technically don't know who he is at this point. Um, Delaney Walker, tight end. We've got Moa, is that it? Is that everything? What is going on? That was my pack? That was my pack? Oh, come, are you kidding me? That can't be my pack, right? All right, so apparently it's just a gold player. It's not a guarantee of a legend. Champ Bailey, though. Ooh, we are opening one more for you guys. We'll take him. Add him definitely. Devin's a playbook for Seattle. That's a nice one right there. To shard choice injury recovery. Garrett Reynolds, give me <gasps> ooh. Now that's a different RG3. It's not the training camp version, but he's still an 80. Ah, Jaguars away uniforms. Tim Maste, Ponter again. Dennis Allen head coach and a stadium. Okay, so obviously we want to put him right into the current roster. Um, and what we're gonna do? Uh, actually, I'm gonna use the defensive playbook here of the Seahawks. Um, and then let's go. Of course, the, the the first time you play is all about managing your team and figuring out where you're going to get started at. And um, so we purchased two packs. That seems good. Now let's go to our team and check out our starting lineup. Make sure everybody's assigned appropriately. Um, I can press the Y button, which is glorious, and just automatically gives me uh, the best lineup, which is nifty and nice. All right. So again, we have the uh, training camp Frank Gore in there. We've got RG3 with CJ Nix. Delaney Walker, pretty good shape. I like that. Um, our defensive front could use some work, but it's okay. And then secondary, at least we're anchored by Mr. Champ Bailey. Um, Specialist, okay. We've got... Uh... All right, all right. Champ Bailey is actually returning the kicks. <laughs> Fine by me. Shanahan is the head coach. Um, defensive, we're going to go with Seattle. And I guess we'll just keep the balanced offense right now because that's what we got. All right. So in good shape, we'll save our settings... And let's put this team to the test. Let's get them on the field. Got a couple packs. Um, there's head-to-head -head seasons. Let's try one of these solo challenges. I've never seen what these are. I think they're brand new to 25. Um, we've got a preseason one. Okay, against the... Play the Arizona Cardinals week one preseason game versus the Green Bay Packers. Win the game to earn a silver version of Cardinals coach Bruce... Oh, you can win specific cards. That's pretty awesome. Um, all right, this stuff is all locked right now. Oh, it, this one's unlocked. Play versus the St. Louis Rams. 500 coins. Um, all right, what happened to the... Uh, I guess the Ravens challenge disappeared since we didn't do the tutorial, which is fine. Didn't really want to do that anyways. Let's do this uh, here. I don't know why we're Arizona. Oh, we can beat any of the teams? Ooh, all right. Well, who should we face off against first? Let's face off against the Rams. I think that'll be a fair challenge for us. Um, so we're going to take the, uh, the Cardinals solo challenge and jump in as the Ghost Robo Army here. Let's go straight to work and see what we got on the field. Always a little nerve-wracking. At least this year I have a good quarterback. Previously, I've never picked a quarterback. Um, I've picked, uh, you know, like a, uh, what do you call it, uh, either a running back or a receiver. So I've always been stuck with, like, really crappy quarterbacks. Like I told you, McElroy and other Bad News Bears like that. But this time we actually have a juggernaut manning the offense. So we should be in pretty good shape. And the fact that they kind of 
graced us with Nixon Johnson Jr., even though they aren't the full version. Like, that's going to put us in a pretty good spot to throw the ball. Frank Gore, even though, again, not the full power of his normal, uh, you know, arsenal, but we should be in pretty good shape. I have played a couple regular games in Madden 25, and just to let you know on that, it feels really good. I like some of the tweaks they've made um, to the sprint system in particular. Um, you know, overall, it, very similar game to last year, yes, but now there is um, a little bit more finesse with the juking and the sprinting. Um, I feel like the graphics are slightly improved, and just the overall presentation is really good uh, for the 25th anniversary edition. Like, thank goodness they did that. These guys are a little creepy here, but you can say hi. Defense that love to hit the quarterback. Let's see if they make that happen. RG3 looking good. The Rams have won. They're probably going to receive. I wish more teams would kick. I really do. I think it would be a, a smart play. It just doesn't seem to happen too often. All right, cameraman, get out of here. We got a game to run. Whew! Madden 25 kicks off in stellar fashion. <laughs> Gronkowski is playing special teams. This is the dangerous part of, of this portion of the game is like you don't know who you really have. Whoa, big return. Uh, at, at every position, like injuries have been kind of a plenty. Uh, in every game I've played, I've seen someone break a bone, um, which is not very uh, not very nice at all. Um, so hopefully we can stay uh, we can stay healthy at least here in the first quarter. First half, the full game, give me whatever you got. I just... Don't break my favorite player, CJ, or our captain. Ooh, nice. Again, remember, we have a very low-ranking team, so in terms of us stopping people on a regular basis, probably not going to happen right off the bat. Let's go man here. Looking to pass. Um, press coverage. I like to play the line. It's just it's just my favorite thing to do. Um, my brother is actually really good uh, at playing a DB, which I, I find so impressive. And I like, how does he do that? I can't do it at all. And what's interesting here is since we're playing these challenges, they have their full team um, regardless of who we have at all, which is kind of cool. Second down now. Throwing the ball again, it looks like here. Yeah. Held on, all right. Mid-yard gain. We should be okay, right? Our random defensive line. Um, let's see. All right, we're going to blitz a little, put a little pressure on the Rams here, all right. It'll be third down. Bradford, you're going down, or not? Yes. Oh, no, my God! Freaking diving catch! At least we escaped the late hit penalty. Normally, those are really easy to rack up. Darn it! I probably should not have blitzed. I probably should have just stuck with what I was doing here. But what, what are you gonna do? All right. Um. I just want to see how our offense works. I'm not really too concerned with the defense at all. Um, but I'm I'm interested to see how the uh. How the offense handles things. Get down. Oh, my God. Stiff arm to the face, dude. If we can hold him to a field goal here, I will be happy, though. And that's the end of the first quarter. Our team, okay, we're not terrible. I don't think we're we're playoff caliber by any stretch of the imagination, but, hey, what'd you expect? Look at this guy taking off his helmet, just chilling on the sidelines. I'm not really sure why we're playing the Bills. Oh, I have the Bills. I was like, why are we... Why are we in the Bills Stadium again? Oh, it's because we have the Bills Stadium. Kind of like messed with my head. I was like, am I having a concussion here? Why am I in the Bills Stadium? I'm not... I'm not Kevin. Oh my God, please get down. Again, third and six. We're in a good position to hold them. I'm just going to stick with man coverage here. Because I know they're probably going to throw. Um, so we'll... Uh, yeah. I'm going to stay pressing and hope that we can... Just cover the field here. After that last run, it sets up third and six. Oh my God, getting burned again. I have really weak cornerbacks. You know, I've got, what's his name, Bailey back there, but it's going to be pretty hard to stop anybody right now. 
Let's see if we can get a sack. Two-minute warning. These challenges have really fast quarter times, which is interesting. Although I kind of like that, especially early on. Like, let's, let's run through some games. Let's gain some experience. Let's figure out what we need and what we're going to do and not make us sit through a painful, you know, 45-minute loss. Goodness gracious. Ah, Bailey recovered nicely on that one. I thought it was going to be a guaranteed TD. They might hold the ball for the entire... Uh, <laughs> The entire offense or the entire first half, which is a little bit strange. But I wouldn't I wouldn't hold it past him. The Redskins defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. He'll go nickel from the shotgun. Come on. Too much time. Holy cow, we can't even stick with him, really. Dude, I'm gonna be hounding these guys off camera. Once we get done with this video, I'm gonna send them through the freaking ringer. We're running wind sprints for days. Like, how can you be that far off? That's one thing that even in the regular men, like, quote, regular, like, with normal teams, I have trouble with is, like, some of those guys are so far off base that they're not a top-tier cornerback. They seem to struggle so greatly with sticking with their man, and I, that bugs me because I feel like it's out of my control. All right, Champ Bailey is now doing double duty, returning the football here. Um, what's interesting is that turbo is on the right trigger, of course, but if you want to be effective with your jukes and maneuvers, you have to hold the left trigger. So you can't turbo and juke effectively at the same time. It's kind of a, a stop-go gas um, type uh, type system, which is interesting. Um, let's start with the pass. Let's see what we got going on here. Mesh is one of my favorite tried-and-true generic man plays. We have Calvin, and now my controller is, is turning off. Stick with me, controller man. All right. We've got Calvin. Where's Nix? Keem Nix is not out here, which is interesting. But we've got Gronkowski and uh, Walker out there, which is a good good combo there. Give me some yardage. Yes, the first play of offense is a big eight-yard gain. Nine-yard gain. Okay. Call timeout. No. I don't need that yet. We'll stay in a hurry up here. Um, let's see what I want to do. Let's, can we audible here? Thank you. Um, oh, it's not letting me get out of this at all. All right, fine. Let's pick up the first down. Got him. Whoa, RG3. He had CJ wide the heck open. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's see what we got with Frank Gore in the backfield. Where is Nix, by the way? Why is he not lining up out there? Ah, we didn't get it, did we? No, yes. Shah. No, no, no. I don't I do not want to punt. I don't want to punt. I don't want to punt. I want to test our offense a little more. So we'll do the tried and true Madden magic here, um, which is a nice... Uh, no, I want to do this. Quick RG3 QB sneak. Dive forward. Put him at risk for injury, but what the heck. We need our yardage. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Give it to me. That's a first down. All right, good. Now we can come at them with some deep passes and test out uh, our, our offense in actuality. So we'll drop back. Um, corner strike. All right. There's Nix. I was going to say, where you been, buddy? Okay. So we got CJ on the right, Nix on the left. Oh, please get there. He held on to it. Yes. I thought he dropped it for a second. Woo. Good work. It'll work. We'll take a timeout now. I did burn one earlier, which kind of stinks, but um, let's go a little misdirection and see if we can roll to the right and uh, maybe hit CJ deep. I'm not sure why Nix is coming out for some of these plays, but our offensive line is surprisingly holding up. Oh, we got head as we threw. Darn it. All right, again, coming to grips with our team here. Stay in the pocket. Let's go post corners. He is way slower than he should be, which is kind of awkward because I'm used to him being lightning fast and uh, we're not getting any um, motion out of him. Okay. All right. We can go for the end zone a few times here. Three times, probably twice, three times. Um, let's just send Calvin deep and see if we can pick up a score before the half. If not, I don't know if our kicker can make a 40-some yarder, but we'll try. Tap the button of the receiver for a lob pass. Thank you very much, man. Let's go deep with CJ. Jump it up. Come on, buddy. He's the best receiver in the game. I think he's the highest rated player in the game. 99, something like that. One of them. All right. We'll try that again. Um, let's see. We've got Nix going deep. We've got CJ. Maybe we can hit CJ across. We can, if we can get him out of bounds. Oh, God. That's my bad. 
Oh, wrong button. I wanted to go to A and I instead went to Calvin. It's my it's my Detroit bias. I'm so sorry. Um, let's see. Can I corner strike to the end zone, you think? Let's try it. Um, if I uh take CJ. Actually, we're just gonna have CJ streak out. Nick's on the break. Get him out of bounds. Catch it. Yes. He inbounds. Give me. Yes. Okay, good. Now we got one more strike at the off at the end zone here. All right. First and goal at the nine. Let's stay in shotgun. Oh, my God. This is so nerve-wracking. Okay, we're going to go with a shallow cross. We're going to make a... Where do we got Calvin? Calvin's going right across the middle, right where I want him. Okay. We're going to gun for Calvin, see what we can do here. No margin for error. Just yes! Touchdown, line. baby. Woo! First Touchdown. play, or first drive TD. RG3, even at weaker itself. Calvin Johnson playing the air guitar. I don't think he would do that in real life. He's kind of like the most mellow superstar known to man. But we did put in a TD, which is pretty freaking awesome. Boom, baby. That's the way to do it. All right. Not bad. Two for 25 on a TD. I'll take that. We'll wrap up this half right here. Quarter, Keep things even. Pretty seven. impressive. Even with our, our struggling squad, our, our misfit bunch, they're going to try to maybe run one play here. We'll see. But even with our our, our goofball goobers, we're, we're doing okay. So I, I like that quite a bit. Um, let's just play way deep. Let's play a dime and just, just play way safe here. No chances. No chances. Give the guys some cushion. Back the heck up. I think they're just going to run the ball, if I'm honest. Yep. Hand off, and you ain't going nowhere. All right, that's going to wrap up the first half. That's going to wrap up our first look at our Madden Ultimate team and uh, just an overall look at the game and the mode for you guys here in the year Madden 25. I feel so awkward saying that. I want to say Madden 14 since the last thing I did was Madden 13, but no, it's Madden 25. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Add to your favorites. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Madden. I'm not sure if we're going to do more or not or just kind of have it be like a, a one-look time thing, but uh, but we'll see. Thanks so much for watching, guys and girls. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Let me know if you're picking up Madden later and who your favorite NFL team is in the comments below. Until next time, guys and girls, drink some hot chocolate, and we will see you all later.